Hello fellow YouTubers, this is uh, MoparMan1978. I'm going to do a short video here. Um, I do some fabrication work on the side and whatnot, sandblasting. Um, had a buddy that uh, recently bought a uh, 78 Dodge Club Cab pickup for a project. It had this regular bench seat in there, but uh, for those of you that don't know, when you have a Club Cab, you can't have a regular bench seat in there. You have to have a bench seat that it has a split back to where the seat, the, the backrest can flip forward on each side. And uh, trying to find a original split back bench seat is almost impossible. So what we did is we just took his and, and I modified it for him. Um, this is how the factory seat was set up. They had this here that was locked in the place and then this was all locked in the place. So this was non-functional. What I did was, is I made this to where it's got a uh, pivot. Use a grade eight bolt, some washers and a lock nut and some nylon washers for anti-friction purposes. Um, fabricated this bracket in here, welded this bracket for a stop for when this, so the seat don't go too far back. It stops up against this. Um, this right here, when he's got all the seat and everything put back together, reupholstered, all he's got to do is just reach underneath here. As you can see, flip this forward, pull the pin out. I bought these pins, by the way, these flip pins from, from uh, Menards. And then all I did was I drilled that hole directly through. It's a heavy duty metal bolt so it's not going to bust or bend and then uh, just come up underneath here underneath the seat put that back in there and it's good to go and uh, but um, when you have a passenger when they get in you got to be able to have this part go forward now the factory split back, when it goes forward, it goes in at an angle. This goes straight forward, which I think is a lot better anyway. But anyway, it, um, like this is the back of the cab, the extended part of the club cab. There's, there's a seat here that the bottom part folds up, and right here would be the window. So this makes it uh, accessible for passengers or whatever to get in here and sit down, flip the seat down. And sit here, and then once the passengers are in, put the seat back, put the pin in, and you're done. I, what I had to do is also, I had to come over here when I split it down the middle, I had to measure it, uh, put these brackets in, weld these brackets in. It's a steel rod, a thin steel rod I bought from Menards as well. Came down in here, used uh, some angle plating and welded two pieces of angle plating together and made this bracket. And then I put an extension down off the bottom of the backrest on each side. I ran uh, grade 8 bolts, nylon uh, washers, and lock nuts to complete the uh, pivot part of the middle part of the seat. That way it gives these parts support. Otherwise, this thing would be flopping around. But anyway... Uh, I fabricated this for him, and then uh, before too long, he's going to be uh, getting the seat padded and reupholstered anyway. So, um, anyway, that's what I did, and then uh, coated everything and. Uh, VHT epoxy chassis primer, or uh, not primer, but the paint, but uh, so it don't rust. But uh, but anyway, there's the finished product, and he's happy. And now, and then that's it. Hope you enjoy the video.